How are we? Um, I haven't posted on the YouTube channel in ages because I've been doing basically anything else rather than watching Burnley because this season has been woeful. And I had the day off work. I thought, you know what? I watch Palace. Usually Palace is like, we're sort of a bogey team for them. I feel like we do quite well against them. And today, <laughs> oh, it's, it's really frustrating. I've let out my frustrations. I've sort of like tried to calm myself down, but Jesus Christ, it's the same shit. It's just a different week. Play well, good start, great. You know you're off to the races, good. Okay, let's try and get an early goal maybe. But no, we we got no, we can't we can't fucking score. <laughs> That's sort of the trouble. We just can't. We, there's no end product with Burnley <clears throat> whatsoever. There's just nothing. Coley Osho is the only little bit of spark, I'd say, up front going forward. Really. Um, really making it difficult for the Palace defence. He was the only player really giving it. I felt like everyone else really could have improved in some way. Um, yeah, just woeful. And then, and then obviously, Jordan Bayer coming back into the team, buzzing. Come on, finally a defender. He picks up the ball, and I don't know what he's doing. Loses it to IU, and it's a goal. It's a goal. It's 1-0. Loses it to IU, who just runs and plays it across the goal, and it's... I'm pretty sure it's Jeffrey Schlupp who scores for Crystal Palace. This also was a weakened Palace side. Like, they weren't even playing their best. Eze came on from the bench. They weren't playing their best 11. And still, we go 1-0 down against them. That's shocking to me. It's, 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 it's something that has happened week in, week out that can easily, easily be stopped by just a kick of the fucking ball. Just, just anywhere, just hoof that bastard, please. I know we're trying to play this sort of attractive style, you know. Oh, let's, but, but we don't have the players for that. We don't have the players and the capability for that. Vincent Company said at the end of the Bournemouth game, we've just got to stop conceding the silly goals. Stop playing it around the back then. Stop being so committed to this tactic. It worked in the Championship because we could get away when we have, when we um. We get away with making a silly mistake because they're not as good, you know. So if we make a silly mistake, maybe we'll get capitalised if we make it five times because they're not as good. But in the Premier League, they are going to capitalise every single time. You have to look at the situation, Vincent Company, and see what the fuck is going on. That we aren't playing in the Championship anymore. We aren't playing with those teams, those players anymore. We're playing with the best of the best in English football, Okay. You can't make mistakes like that. And he's so committed to, no, we're going to keep pointing around the back. This is, this is the way we're doing it. That's not a good manager. Managers have to adapt. Managers have to change over time to keep up. And the thing that Dyche did so well was always set us with a good defensive line. And we'd hit him a little bit on the counter. Because he knew that's what we had. The players, the capability to do that. He knew that our team could do that. And get some points out of it. And we did that well. Yeah, and obviously the last season with Dax didn't go the best. But every time was a struggle in the Championship because we weren't funded with him. Yes, these players are quick. And I didn't, but you st we got to have a defence. We have no defence. There's nothing. There's just no... There's just no defence. No plan B. And the plan B really was for taking off Cody Osho, which was such a weird... He made, finally made a sub, and the sub he makes was taking off Zeki Amdouni and Koli Osho, the only bright spark, really, of the team. So that just sort of like, what was the fucking point then? And then we sort of have a shot on target when lads 10 minutes left of the game. What's, what's the point? Why is, why is a 10 minutes left of the game when we're finally having some shots on target? We should have taken our chances. Gunmanson had a great chance. Yeah, Rodriguez had a great chance. Fucking even Coley Osho had a great chance if he just maybe got the ball out of his feet a little bit quicker. We really shouldn't be walking away with that game with fucking nothing. And we walk away with it 2 nil loss. Not only that, though, our set pieces, I got bored of getting excited for a corner after the second one, I think, because it was just... We, there, was, there was no chance we were going to whip in anything. And... It'd be threatening. I think Palace had like two corners in the game. And every time, those both look threatening. We can't defend corners. We can't score from them either. We're shit in the air. Whoever our set-piece coach is, 
Fire that fucker. Get him out of our club. Because he's crap. Okay? He's doing fuck all. He's doing absolute dog shit right now. It's... And so is our team. Our team is, is doing absolute dog shit. It's just fucking hard to watch. I'm not going to say VK out because I think he did a terrific season last season. I just think VK, fucking open your eyes, mate. Like, you can't be this stubborn. You cannot be this stubborn to be like, no, we're going to keep going with this. We're going to keep playing this way. S stop. You can't. You cannot play this way. Stop it. Please fucking stop it. I also understand we've got some injuries. Stop playing this way with the play. Vitinho, he's not good enough to play passing it back. Trafford, he's not good enough to play passing it back. Every fucking time. We're getting caught out. Two goals from two silly defensive mistakes. That is that is the bottom line. And also, we can't fucking score. The two things you sort of need to do in football, we're doing really shit. We have a lot of possession, though. We sort of beat teams with that. That's fucking great. We always have more possession than um, the opponents. So keep on being positive with that. Who gives a shit? I couldn't give a shit if we had 13% possession. As long as we scored a fucking goal. You know what I mean? I don't care about possession at all. At all. I know Burnley fan cares about possession. Okay. No football fan really cares about possession or playing attractive football or whatever. Maybe if you're a City fan, you know, that's sort of what you're raised on. But no one gives a shit. We just want to see our team score. And it also seems... I mean, today we played better, but in recent games, it just seems there's been no fight. No fight, really. Or today there was a bit of fight, which was nice to see. But it's, it's just... How long does that go on? Because you get, we, we gave fight today. Fuck all. We had a first team, I think, 136 years to lose all six home games um, in the Premier League or in the top division. So that's good. New record. Come on. Uh, Sheffield United won today. I can't see where our next win comes from. I even think we lose to Sheffield United. <laughs> I can't see where the fuck we've got Arsenal next. Where the fuck does a win come from? You know what I mean? This shit. Let me know your thoughts. I just thought I needed to upload. I needed to vent. Please let me know your thoughts on the situation. But always up the clarets. I will always support, always love my club. But fuck me, is this season hard? Like, I was there for like... I'm quite young, but I was there through, like, the Brian Laws sort of, like, era. You know what I mean? And then the Eddie House sort of just, like, mid-table mediocrity and all that. Like, I've, I've been around. This this team would get, would concede three goals against Chris Ulumo. Like, that is sort of how my going is. The defence is that shocking that Chris Ulumo would score a hat-trick against them. He would. Probably. You know what I mean? Like... And our, our championship team was hands down 100% better than this team. Last season's team was so much better. And isn't it crazy? In a season, we've changed the team so much. Why? I'm questioning why we didn't just go for Teller. Why we didn't go for Bellis. Yeah, we got Bayer. Why we didn't really push for Matson Or finding players like that again. Because it seems like we haven't. Seems like we wasted a hundred mil. It does. It does a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Goodbye.